क्लास इलेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट फिजिक्स थर्ड चैप्टर मोशन इन ए प्लेन फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर लेट अस सी द इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन फॉर यूनिफॉर्म एक्सीलरेशन सो इन दिस पॉइंट वी विल हैव टू ऑप्टेन द इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन दैट इज काइनामेटिकल इक्वेशंस इन ऑर्डर टू ऑप्टेन दिस इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन लेट अस कंसिडर द फिलोसिटी अगेंस्ट टाइम ग्राफ for an object having its position at x is equal to 0 at time t is equal to 0 let the velocity at t is equal to 0 be u that is considered as initial velocity of that object and at any time t its velocity equal to phi so this phi will be considered as the final velocity so you will be considered as initial velocity phi will be considered as the final velocity now in order to find the acceleration of this object we will have to find out the slope of this line ab that is acceleration of the object will be equal to slope of this line ab and therefore we can write acceleration a will be equal to slope of this will be calculated by using the formula for slope that is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 and that will be equal to change in velocity upon change in time that is final velocity minus initial velocity upon final time minus initial time so phi minus u upon t minus 0 that will be written as phi minus u upon t now if you shift this t towards a then it will become a t and therefore we will get phi minus u equal to a t or phi equal to u plus a t phi equal to u plus a t as equation number one this equation will represent the first equation of motion that is first kinematical equation now as previously seen we know that for a velocity time graph this shaded region is the area under this graph of velocity against time and therefore we know that the area under the graph of velocity against time graph is the displacement of that object and therefore this shaded region that is the area of this quadrilateral o a b d will represent displacement of the object and therefore that displacement s will be given as area of the quadrilateral o a b d o a b d but if you consider this quadrilateral then area of this quadrilateral will be equal to sum of area of this triangle a b c and area of this rectangle o a c d and therefore displacement s will be equal to area of triangle a b c plus area of rectangle o a c d now we know that area of triangle is equal to half base into height and therefore for this triangle this will be the base that is equal to t and this will be the height that height will be equal to phi minus u and therefore s will be equal to half phi minus u into t base into height plus area of rectangle for this area of the rectangle it is length into breadth so length is again t and this breadth will be equal to u and therefore s we will get half phi minus u t plus u t but from first equation we have phi is equal to u plus a t and therefore this phi will be replaced by u plus a t and therefore we will get s is equal to half in place of phi that is u plus a t and again minus u into t and plus this u t plus u minus u will get cancelled a t into t that is a t square and therefore s will be equal to half a t square plus u t that will be written as s is equal to u t plus half a t square 
एस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वेर इक्वेशन नंबर टू एंड दिस इक्वेशन नंबर टू रिप्रेजेंट्स द सेकंड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन दैट इज सेकंड काइनामेटिकल इक्वेशन नाउ एज द एक्सीलेशन इज कॉन्स्टंट फॉर द मोशन ऑफ दैट ऑब्जेक्ट the velocity is increasing linearly with time and we can consider here average velocity that is phi average to calculate the displacement here velocity is increasing from u to phi linearly and therefore in this case we will consider average velocity to calculate the displacement and therefore in terms of average velocity displacement s will be given as phi average into time because velocity is equal to displacement upon time therefore displacement will be equal to velocity into time so phi average into t that will be equal to this term will represent average of initial and final velocity that is sum of initial and final velocity divided by 2 so it is phi plus u upon 2 into t but again from first equation the t will be replaced as as phi is equal to u plus at therefore t will be equal to phi minus u upon a and therefore in place of t we can write phi minus u upon a and therefore displacement s will be equal to phi plus u into phi minus u upon 2a since t is equal to phi minus u upon a now this term phi plus u phi minus u will represent phi square minus u square it is similar to that of a plus b a minus b it is equal to a square minus b square so similarly we can write s is equal to phi square minus u square upon 2a and therefore this 2a will be shifted towards left therefore it will become 2as and hence phi square minus u square equal to 2as again this minus u square will be shifted towards right therefore we will get phi square equal to u square plus 2as as equation number 3 so this equation that is phi square equal to u square plus 2 as gives the third equation of motion that is third kinematical equation now let us see the next term that is relative velocity what is that relative velocity so the relative velocity of one object with respect to the other object is the difference between their velocities <coughs> the relative velocity of one object with respect to the other object is the difference between their velocities for example the relative velocity of any object a with respect to object b will be given as phi a minus phi b and the relative velocity of object b with respect to object a will be given as phi b a equal to phi b minus phi a so this equation will represent velocity that is relative velocity of a with respect to b and this will represent relative velocity of b with respect to a now if you consider that at any time t is equal to 0 both a and b were at the same point that is at x equal to 0 so at t is equal to 0 both object a and b are at the same point that is at x equal to 0 as they are traveling with different velocities the distance between them will go on increasing with time in direct proportion to the difference in their velocities that is the relative velocity between them